do welcome in my windows 11 linux powered machine ladies and gentlemen worldwide what you're gonna see today is a very 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 special what are you looking at is this windows 10 no ça c'est pas windows 10 but why does it look like windows 10 build somewhere 13 i don't know 10,000 uh, 1300 well because i'm on the operating system that will let me do all of that really so what are you on ubuntu for the people ubuntu i'm on ubuntu 14 14.03 i think it's 04 not updated and um well as you know ubuntu does not come this way it came with the unity desktop i didn't even know the name of the desktop uh, but it was the unity desktop that it came with and i made a video to show you how you can change that and get um, the mate desktop we even got the mate um, let me show it to you let me show it to you we even got the mate tweak that will let us uh, add fantastic um, you know effects to our system but it will also let us change the interface into many various interfaces i choose for this one and i'm not gonna touch it because i love it you know uh, i called it windows 11 linux powered and in fact this is a concept okay it all stopped at windows 10 because microsoft decided that you know there will be no windows 11 so you know i make my own windows 11 so this is windows 11 linux powered running on the of course ubuntu ubuntu is the mother operating system of many linux versions that you see out there and um yeah so it can also be the mother os of the windows 11 linux powered os that i'm representing right now at least this is the the alpha version it kind of be a little bit buggy here you can see that we have four desktops that really present themselves in a very beautiful way of course uh, i will not call this windows 11 if windows is not represented in here so let's go to windows our windows environment and um, while that is uh, in fact loading up here let's go to desktop number two we'll have this we'll put windows on desktop number one here you can see uh, we're just uh, booted up uh, windows 8 and we will log into windows 8 and uh, here we have a html version of windows 8 we can also use explorer by going to the windows desktop updated uh, here but uh, i'm working on that uh, effect this is a eight, oops 48 and you will see that uh, you will find my channel you can also watch videos from out here but why would you oh my icon is messing up but why would you so let's go back uh, to the oops let's go back to the it's a kind of little bit hard to i never like this this thing from windows 8 it always gives me problems to go back okay i cannot use the backspace but uh nevertheless we can uh straight go back to the login screen that will be here and this is how to get back in linux of course we could use even more desktops because now uh, in fact, we have uh, we, we, we can ha keep the normal desktop and we can uh, have the Metro desktop for any purpose. So um, if we go to desktop one, oh my, my system is getting slow. In desktop one, we are in the Windows uh, 8 or Windows 10 uh, desktop. Uh, it has no start menu, so this is the Windows yeah Windows desktop. Up here we are in the metro desktop and in here we get back into linux and the fourth one here 
will be for a Apple environment because what I in fact want is that uh, the future operating system will be one that will represent all the four uh, popular operating systems such as Linux, Apple, uh, but also Windows and uh, yeah, what was the third one? So I don't even know. I'm just kidding. This is just a concept, people. Um, yeah, we can close this now. So that was more than enough craziness. Um, up here we uh, have also you can see Kodi, Firefox. We have uh, the App Store. Of course, this is just the icon of the Microsoft Windows App Store. Uh, the YouTube uh, app that will let us watch YouTube videos. Uh, of course the screen capture app that I'm using right now and I changed the icons around because it was really easy to do and uh, those that watch my previous videos know that uh, what I'm saying is uh, is the truth it is really easy so if you want to know how to you know get started uh, make sure you watch my 45 minute video uh, two videos under this one check my list of this week should be somewhere in there so uh, go check it out and of course um, yeah go have yourself uh, fun with Linux I must tell you that uh, this is version 14 but you could also go for 15 mate if you go for the mate desktop 14 mate or 15 mate uh, you will get this well not with the windows or and not like this but you will have to make it like this and it's really easy to make it like this so this is my uh, Windows 11 concept Linux powered I don't hope that I offended anybody there and that nobody get pissed off with me that I you know made this system but I think it's fantastic that Linux you know Linux can uh, look uh, whatever you want it to look like and you know even the cool uh, Apple this is this is really Apple this is what you see here this logo from of or this icon from the Wi-Fi and from the sound I have an Apple right here in front of me they are both the same only they stand in different uh, the, 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 the logo of the Wi-Fi is here and the sound is here at Apple so that's the only difference but they look kind of familiar <clears throat> and that's great because uh, yeah in this way people can feel the self even better at home peeps i want to thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it uh, i really like the system i think it's really really nice so now it's time to um yeah say goodbye and of course if you like my desktop if you like this whole idea this concept of course please like this video and subscribe to my channel for even more videos oh wait hold on i cannot stop this video yet i cannot I must show you what I discovered yesterday. Yesterday, I um, I'm gonna make a special review about this because I'm running a little bit out of memory. But I installed uh, where is it? Oh yeah, I installed OpenShot Video Editor. And people, wow, 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 wow! OpenShot Editor is almost like Camtasia. It works fantastic. You know, uh, I was editing yesterday a video in it. It renders MKV files even faster to MP4 than with a Mac MacBook Pro that I have also here beside it because you know I was converting them to MP4 to you know but uh, up here you can really easy import your files uh, up here uh, I have this 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 music that I wanted under my video and then somewhere in desktop or was it in in videos I think I don't know even where it is where are these videos desktop um, yeah this was it you see it's an MTV file I just imported I put it up here you see that and this one I can put up here oh no not not you <laughs> this one I must remove remove and this one I put up here this is the music you see that and now I can edit this video so and uh, up here you can you know do something about the volume I'm not even sure yet how to do that 
but uh, but you should check that out I was playing with it last night you can even add titles you can make a title clip and then put it everywhere you want not only in front of the video but also at a certain place somewhere just on the video <coughs> So that is really nice. So thumbs up there for you guys there uh, at Open Shot. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I'm really happy that I can now edit my videos also in Linux. So thumbs up for that. Uh, we're gonna close without saving. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna end this video because otherwise it will get way too long again. So peeps, once again, thanks again for watching. If you think this information was cool, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you very soon again in my next video.